Hey guys, it's Chris. From a beach overrun with predatory sharks to the most undesirable and toxic beach in all of Europe, here are 10 of the most dangerous and vile beaches on the planet. Number 10. Cape Tribulation Cape Tribulation is one of the most volatile beaches in the entire world. It's located in North Queensland, Australia, and is quite beautiful at first glance with its ancient rainforest and mangroves. However, almost everything at Cape Tribulation is out to kill you. The plants, the wildlife, and even the water are all highly dangerous, making this one of the worst places to go swimming. From October to June, there are thousands of box jellyfish floating around in the water here. And these critters have venom so strong that a single sting can shut down a person's cardiovascular system and cause them to drown even before they reach dry land or cry out for help. But deadly jellyfish aren't the only bad guys here. There are also saltwater crocodiles lurking around nearby that reportedly kill between one and two people a year. These predators are fast and agile and can drag a person deep into the swamps. Then there are the stinging trees which visitors need to be careful of because just accidentally brushing up against one of these big trees can cause prickly shards to get embedded in your flesh. And sometimes they will itch and sting for months at a time. But wait, because there's one more danger at Cape Tribulation. At night, there are wild boars roaming around with huge tusks and bad attitudes that can kill a person if they get a hold of them. So it's not only that the water is filled with poisonous sea blobs and you gotta watch out for those pesky trees, but the land is also roaming with killer boars. Number 9. New Smyrna Beach New Smyrna Beach is known by some as the shark bite capital of the world. And according to lifeguard Captain Scott Peterson, it really does live up to its reputation. In an interview with Peterson, he claims that just recently, there were at least three attacks in two days. And before that, the beach saw two attacks within just 15 minutes of one another. This area is notorious for shark activity, with up to 24 shark attacks happening in a single year. The most common sharks that attack swimmers are the black tip and spinner sharks, which can only grow to be about three feet in length, but still, they leave their victims with cuts and lacerations, and sometimes they can be deadly. This beach is one of the biggest shark hotspots in all of Florida, but the worst times to visit are between August and September, when the sharks are out in their greatest numbers. And yet despite the obvious danger, people still choose to go swimming and surfing here. When it comes to New Smyrna Beach, you're really taking your life into your own hands. Have you ever seen a shark when you were out swimming? What happened? Tell us about it in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to World List if you haven't already for more amazing videos. Number 8. The Skeleton Coast There are at least 500 ships scattered up and down the skeleton coast of Namibia, which is basically one of the longest stretches of beach in the world, where the Namibian desert meets the rioting waves of the sea. And this beach isn't necessarily dangerous to swim in, unless of course you accidentally cut your leg on a lost piece of scrap metal from a destroyed ship. The real danger is in the sand, where there are dozens of wrecks half buried beneath the dunes that can make traversing the beach incredibly dangerous. And speaking of those wrecks, anyone who found themselves shipwrecked on the skeleton coast almost always died. Even if they did manage to survive the destruction of their vessel, they would almost certainly perish soon after because the skeleton coast is really in the middle of nowhere, extremely isolated, with nothing but the boiling hot desert for hundreds of miles in all directions. Plus, there are savage desert animals that might stop by, such as elephants, hyenas, and maybe even a pride of desert lions. Oh, and then there is, of course, the current. If for whatever reason you're crazy enough to actually decide to go swimming, the current can easily suck you over a hundred miles out to sea. Among historically dangerous places to go sailing or swimming, this is among the most famous. Africa's climate can be unforgiving, and this is one example of that. Number 7. Fraser Island Fraser Island looks like a utopia from the outside, but it's actually rife with dangers. Even though the island has pristine beaches, lush coastal bushlands, and rolling sand dunes, it has some of the most treacherous waters in the world. The riptides at Fraser Island are insane and cause deadly swimming conditions. The riptides here are so intense that Fraser Island Tours Australia actually warns against swimming in almost all areas. And not only can the riptide carry you out to your doom, but there are poisonous sea creatures that can stop your heart, like the venomous jellyfish that are lured to the island's waters by gathering schools of nearby fish. 
You don't even need to go that far to encounter these jellyfish, as they're happy to swim into the shallow waters and sting you there. With these extremely dangerous jellyfish, their sting will stop your heart. Almost no one makes it out of an encounter with these animals alive. And even on land, there are dangerous animals here. I mean, it is Australia after all, so it is kind of to be expected. There are dingoes roaming near the shores that have been known to attack small children and pets. If you're not careful, a pack of wild dingoes might actually attack you or someone you're traveling with. Australia is not a land for the faint of heart. Number 6. Hanakapiai Beach Hanakapiai Beach is located on the island of Kauai, on the Nepali coast. It's about two miles of pure danger. It has a high surf, violent shore breaks, and powerful rip currents that have swept many unsuspecting visitors to their deaths. One of the biggest issues at this beach is that you might not even see the currents before you're already being dragged away. Sudden waves can wash the sand right out from under your feet and then pull you out to a watery grave. The reason for this is that there are no large reefs off the beach to stop the violent ocean currents, so they sweep in unrelentingly and unexpectedly. When some seismic event occurs far offshore, it causes deadly consequences to erupt on this beach. If you get caught in a riptide, you can forget about being rescued. At least 15 drowning victims have never even been recovered after dying here. And according to local newspapers, at least 30 people have drowned between 1970 and 2010. There's even a huge warning sign at the beach with 82 tally markers signifying the huge loss of life at this deadly beach. Any beach with multiple memorials to the victims of its waves is certainly not one I'd like to visit for a swim. Number 5. Boa Viajim Beach the Boa Viajim Urban Beach is located in the Brazilian city of Recife, which just so happens to be the city in Brazil with the most shark attacks. It's far out in the Atlantic, at the eastern edge of the New World. It's basically closer to Africa than it is to the western border of Brazil. And it's no surprise that at the eastern point in this country, a lot of sharks gather as they swim south from the Caribbean Sea. At some points along this beach, there are rules against getting into the water any deeper than your abdomen. Because if you get into the water any deeper than your neck, you could end up swimming alongside some very hungry sharks. The beach has had to put up red flags indicating where it's safe and unsafe to swim. According to the BBC, it was in just the last 20 years that shark attacks became so frequent the Boa Viajim was labeled as one of the most dangerous beaches in the world, with about 56 shark attacks in just those two decades. But here's the real shocker about Boa Viajim Beach. Almost half of the shark attacks end up proving fatal. Out of the 56 people attacked, 21 of them died. And that's far beyond the worldwide shark attack fatality rate, which in the Florida State Museum of Natural History claims to be only 16%. And to make things even stranger, scientists say that two main sharks involved in these killings are tiger sharks and bull sharks. They're not even great whites. Number 4. Hawaii's New Beach The beaches of Hawaii can be extremely dangerous places, especially when you consider a volcano can erupt at any minute to turn your beach holiday into an apocalypse of fire and lava. When the Kilauea volcano erupted back in May of 2018, it devastated a massive part of Hawaii's biggest island. If you'd been swimming on the beach that day, you might have found yourself unexpectedly wading through a river of hot magma. But after the destruction, new beaches were formed. In particular, a new black sand beach was created, thanks to the lava rock of the Kilauea volcano's eruption. You can now swim at this volcanic beach, but be warned, it is still dangerous. The threat of lava might be gone, but according to Hawaii's Department of Parks and Recreation, there are strong currents and an unpredictable shore break, both of which can pull you screaming into the depths of the ocean. It's so dangerous that a lifeguard has been charged with watching the beach until 6 p.m., at which point it closes and all swimming is strictly forbidden. Volcanic beaches with black sand can be among the world's most beautiful, but be warned that they can also be among the most dangerous places to visit, especially if they're still fresh. After all, they were literally formed by active volcanoes. Number 3. Da Lok Beach At Da Lok Beach in Vietnam, you'll find more trash and plastic than sand. This is one of the most disgusting and stinky beaches in the entire world, littered with plastic bottles, bags, furniture, and even some lovely plastic mannequin legs. It's a seashore of blue plastic as far as the eye can see, and swimming here is highly advised against. The beach is located slightly south from the capital city of Hanoi. 
and it's been getting uglier and uglier for decades. According to a local seafood processor, plastic waste has been an issue at the beach ever since the first days that plastic bags were being used. But this isn't for the reasons you might suspect. The problem apparently lies with the local fishermen, who use plastic bags to preserve fish and shrimp and then throw the plastic bags into the ocean when they're done with them. After decades of doing this, all that plastic has washed ashore and become part of a rather grim scenery. If you tried to go swimming here, you might end up suffocating inside of a plastic bag. Number 2. Stathis Beach Stathis Beach in the United Kingdom has been voted the worst beach in Europe and for good reason. According to the surfers against sewage, Stathis Beach has the worst bathing water quality in the whole of Europe, with swimmers at risk of acute diarrhea, E. coli poisoning, meningitis, respiratory disease, rashes, hepatitis A, salmonella infection, and even rashes. It may look like a beautiful place on the outside, but this beach is filled with pollution and potential sickness. In fact, this beach has been getting increasingly more polluted over the past 20 or 30 years, eventually falling well below the accepted quality levels put forth by the European Commission in 2010. According to the BBC, one of the reasons for this is likely the sewage from local farms draining into the harbour. It's basically like taking a dip in a sewage tank. If you swim in dirty water, your skin may get infected and you may even need to go to the hospital, so steer clear of the water here. Number 1. Playa Zippolite Playa Zippolite translates from the ancient Zapotec language to mean beach of the dead. And yeah, this makes sense considering how insanely dangerous swimming at this beach can be. Even though it was the first legal public nude beach in Mexico and was a popular destination for the hippies in the 1970s, there's no denying how dangerous the underwater currents are just off the shore. You might be okay taking a rest in one of the rustic cabins above the beach, but if you take a swim in these waters, it could be your last. To make things even stranger, locals claim that the ancient Zippo Techs offered the bodies of their deceased to the sea on this very beach, which is one of the reasons why it was shunned by locals until foreigners arrived and transformed the area in 1969. The only thing that's for sure is that Playa Zippo Light has a colorful, dark, and deadly history. Would you brave the waters of any one of these horrifying beaches? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and come back soon for another fantastic video.